Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a new socket set from Craftsman. Now this is a 189 piece uh, mechanics socket set that I picked up today at Lowe's Home Improvement. Now if, you, if you've been in a Lowe's anytime recently you'll no doubt notice the influx of Craftsman branded tools. In fact they're, they have whole aisles dedicated to their hand tools and power tools and cordless tools. And if, you, if you're not aware, Sears back in January 2017, they actually sold Craftsman to Stanley Black & Decker. And Stanley Black & Decker builds a number of different brands of tools. Some of those include Stanley, Black & Decker, DeWalt, Porta Cable, Bostage, Proto, Lista, Irwin, Linux, Mac Tools. So they have a wide variety of tools that they sell. Now, this particular set is made in China. Now they do have other sets that are in, this is in a chrome, they have other sets that are in what's called a gunmetal chrome, it's more of a smoky chrome. And the way that you can identify them right away is that on the blow molded case they will have a black plastic portion here as opposed to just the red. So those are Taiwanese made and these are Chinese made. Now talking about Chinese tools for a moment, you can get different levels of Chinese tools. You can get everything from the really, really low grade to probably about mid grade. And I really feel that these, that this particular socket set falls in that mid grade range. Now on this set, I was actually able to handle the ratchets in person before purchasing this set because they actually have these for sale separately. This is what's called a, what they call a pair style ratchet. And I really like the feel of it. Now, it's, you can really tell, especially with ratchets, when you pick them up, you really kind of know whether or not they're quality right off the start. And this one has some really good heft to it. Now, all three of these ratchets are going to be 72 tooth. And the, all the selector switches are in steel instead of plastic. And they feel pretty, pretty solid, actually. And when you're ratcheting something, you'll know right away if you have a good one or a bad one. Now, these are not necessarily the highest grade tools but they're definitely falling the mid grade somewhere and you can see there's not a lot of rattle in that uh, socket either so i feel like these are this was a good set now talking a little bit more about chinese tools you know like i said you can get from low grade to mid grade in fact milwaukee um, cordless tools they're all manufactured in china but milwaukee has some pretty good stuff in their m18 and their m12 lineup so you kind of got to pick and choose. Now the reason that I go with Stanley Black & Decker, and for most of my stuff, especially in cordless tools, I stick with Stanley Black & Decker as much as possible because while you know we live in this global society, and Stan, or, uh, Black & Decker, you know Stanley Black & Decker also manufactures some stuff in China and in Asia and other parts of the country, uh, parts of the world, Mexico, even the UK but they have 18 plants in the united states and they're currently building a new one i believe in fort worth texas so they have some american-made products and so i try to I, I i try to help out companies purchase from companies that are helping out americans because i am american and it's just a national pride thing so companies like black and decker who are employing americans get my they're going to get my dollar before uh, Milwaukee is if they have comparable tools now this particular set like I mentioned is a 189 piece uh, mechanics tool set so what you get is from on your metric wrenches you get from 8 to 15 millimeter and then on the SAE you get from 1 quarter to 5 eighths on the 3 eighths 6 point deep sockets you're gonna get from 10 to 19 millimeter and then you're going to get from 1 quarter to 13 16 on the SAE. Plus you get a 5 8 and a 13 16 um, spark plug uh, socket. Then on the quarter inch drive, 6 point, the shallows, you get from 4 millimeter to 14 millimeter, 5 30 seconds to 9 16 Then on your 3 8 drive, 6 points, which are here, you're gonna get from seven to 19 millimeter, and then they skip 20 and give you a 21 millimeter. You'll get from one quarter to 15 sixteenths as well. 
In your half inch drive, which are 12 points in the SAE, you're going to get from 14 to 24 millimeter, but they're going to skip the 20 and they're going to skip the 23. Then in your SAE drives, you're going to get uh, 3 eighths, yes, 3 eighths to, to 1 inch, I believe. Yes, the last one's 1 inch. I thought maybe it was 15 16, but this is 1 inch. Then you're going to get a 3 eighths to quarter adapter. Two six inch extensions, one and three eighths, one and half inch, two three inch extensions, one and quarter, one and three eighths, two universals, one and three eighths drive, one and half inch drive, plus the 72 tooth ratchets. You're going to get uh, the quarter, three eighths, and half. Then in your deep drive, six point uh, quarter inch drive sockets, you're going to get from four millimeter to 14 millimeter, which is on the other side, and then three sixteenths to half inch. Then also you get your the Allen wrenches that they throw in these sets at all you know every manufacturer does to bring up their count. They're really kind of crappy Allen wrenches. Then you get your driver and a selection of 39 different bits. Now one thing they do include in here is security torch, which is not all that usual. You know you don't always see the security torch. One thing I do like is that they put these in separate sleeves instead of one big block. So while I don't use these very often, on occasion, you know, when you can't find the right one, I, I always have this as kind of my backup. Now, one of the big selling points for this was the case itself. The, you know, we're using these uh, on, out on job site, and so it's not something that we can have in a big old rolling toolbox. You know, we're not mechanics sitting right beside our work all the time. So we have to have the ability to carry them and take them with us. To wherever we're at on the job site so the the case is important that it be constructed fairly well now we have a husky set that's kind of what happens with these and the reason why i'm okay with buying mid-grade chinese as opposed to buying american tools when it comes to these socket sets is because frankly i'm not going to spend four times the money for a socket set that maybe only lasts us about two or three years because with what we do and how we do it it's inevitable that we are going to end up losing pieces out of here. It's just the nature of the beast. I mean, you just have to factor it in. But one thing I do like about this particular uh, case is how it's constructed. So first of all, you have metal uh, hinges back here, which is pretty important. Now, while the clasp are hard plastic, they do have metal components, which make them pretty solid. And they really snap in pretty well, actually. So the case being as solidly constructed as it is was one of the biggest factors then the fact that i really do like those ratchets they've really felt good in hand and so that was another contributing factor to why i purchased this one you know with with tools like this it's like i mentioned before i just i'm not I, there's no way i could justify spending four times the money on something like a snap-on when they're going to get lost and over the years i've had a lot of different types of wrenches and sockets and i can never remember messing up a socket not even a chinese made one because i don't buy the super low tier sets you know i'm not going to walmart to get my to get my sockets it's just not what i do so the quality is pretty good is it the quality of snap-on obviously not and there's no way but you're not paying four times the money for either and i really think that these new sets that are on or that are being sold at, at lowe's home improvement right now on the craftsman name are really pretty good sets they're great for di wires they're great for us even out on commercial job sites so i think these are good value now this particular set is a like i mentioned before is the largest set that i could get in a blow molded case at 189 pieces and this one cost me 199 dollars now i did see one of the other chinese manufactured ones that i believe was 150 piece that was regular 149 and had been reduced to 119 if i'm not mistaken i may be wrong on those numbers but they did have one particular set that was pretty complete a pretty nice set that they had uh on a good sale price so at any rate this is the craftsman 189 piece sae uh, metric mechanics tool set part number cmm t12034 hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one